how to add a countdown timer to your Squarespace website. Now, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you absolutely everything. So if you follow along by the end of this video, you will be able to add. Go ahead and click on this and that will take you over to this website called Elfsight. Now, Elfsight is a software that allows us access to widgets and tools that you can't usually have access to on Squarespace. And one of these tools allows us to get a countdown timer and add this into Squarespace. Now, the awesome thing about Elfsight is that you can get started for free. So all you need to do is enter your email into this box right here, click on start, and then you can go ahead and sign up to Elfsight. As soon as you have signed up to Elfsight, all you then need to do is click on widgets up here and that is going to take you over to the widget area where we can scroll through and look at all of these different widgets. Now there's a lot of these, feel free to play around with these and basically see which ones you like. However, for this one specifically, we are going for a count down timer. So go ahead and type that in and then we can click on count down timer. It's then going to ask you to choose a template to start with. So you can see there's a lot of these templates to choose from. So all we need to do is basically go up here and choose which template you like the best. So just go ahead and choose one of these timers. I'm going to go for this one right here. As soon as you have selected that, all you need to do is click on continue. It's then going to take you through to the screen where we can effectively edit everything from the start to finish timer, the start date right here, the end date you can also choose and then the time zone. So effectively we can go ahead and change this to however we want. As soon as that is customized and this basically says what you want it to say, we can change the message here. So if I go subscribe just like this, as I say, you can effectively edit this entire thing. Once you're happy with how this looks, all you have to do is click on add to website for free. It's then going to save and show you like a preview of how this is going to look. And then for some reason, for me, it says publish right here. However, there should be a green button up here that says publish. So go ahead and click on this and it should take you through to this screen right here where it asks you to choose a plan. Now of these plans, effectively the amount of website views you get on a monthly basis is going to dictate which of these plans that you go with. However, if you want to test this out or you are new to Squarespace, you can go for the free plan right here. As soon as you have selected whichever plan you want to go with, it will take you through to this screen where you can see this piece of code. So all we need to do is copy this code in right here, go over to Squarespace, and then all we have to do on Squarespace is add in a block and you can add this anywhere. So make sure the block is added in and then go down to the code option and add this in. It then shows up with this section so we can click in and all we have to do in here is paste in the code that we just copied. And then as you can see, that is going to pop up. Now this area that shows up right here that says like embed scripts, don't worry about this because as soon as we basically save and exit out of the editor, this is going to disappear. So that is not something that you have to worry about but you can see the countdown timer shows up at the top. And that is how you can add a countdown timer to your Squarespace website.